Okay, so the transport, you'll find something called transport on uh, just about any audio program. It's basically this stuff and this stuff. So let's look at this stuff first. These are our controls. So if you've ever used a CD player or any audio software, you know what this stuff is. Play, stop, go back to the beginning, forward, backwards. This, In this case, we jump forward, depending on how many times I hit it or jump backwards. I want to go back to the beginning, I hit that. I can also click and hold down to get some other behaviors of it if I want. And then record. Um, we'll talk more about how recording works later, but basically if I want to record something, I hit record. Uh, and it starts recording. So basic stuff. And again, we can control click to customize this and add some things. We can add a button for a go to the beginning always which we already have, sort of. Go to a certain spot, go to the left locator, go to the right locator, play from the beginning, you know, etc. I'm not gonna change that right now. Okay, now we have our timing stuff. So what we're seeing right now is where the cursor is. This is the cursor, this thing, this vertical thing that says where we're playing. So right now I'm on the seventh bar, the first beat, and the first division of the beat. So it's the beginning of the seventh bar. If I zoom in, we'll see that I'm right at the beginning of the seventh bar. And tick is this kind of weird division of time. I think there's 200 and some ticks per bar. 200 and I forget. Uh, ticks in terms of writing music are not the most useful thing, but if you're into film scoring and stuff uh, and you have to be extremely precise ticks can be really valuable. I mostly focus on bars, beats, and division of the beat. So if I want to go to beat four of, sorry, the fourth 16th note of the third beat of the first bar, that's where I am. I like to read this backwards. Fourth 16th note of the third beat of the first bar is where I am. Uh, tempo. This is our tempo. We can click and drag to change it. Or uh, we can just double click and then type in and hit return. The key. Now, the key is a little bit funny here. This is going to be the key signature. It's not really going to change anything. It's not going to change our notes. It's not going to transpose stuff to a certain key. It's just going to kind of show us. Uh, it's going to lay out our notes slightly different, but it's not going to change anything. Uh, same thing with the time. We can change the meter, but um, it's just going to change the way this looks up here. It's not going to actually change our music at all. Now, if we want to look at this in a different way, we can click here and we can say show time. That's the most common other one for me is to say time. This says how long this sucker is so far. So we are one second, or sorry, we are two seconds and 16 milliseconds in. This is always one for some reason. It's never on zero. So here we're zero, one, two, three, four, five. 6.1 seconds in, 6.01 seconds in is how long this is. This is always a one. So time, we can also look at beats and time. So here we're seeing beats and here we're seeing time. That's kind of a nice way to look at it. I'm not sure why I don't do that, but I do. I like to toggle between beats uh, and the whole, the beats in project, they call it, and time. Um, it's some. It's nice just to have a big time window. Um, and you can also do this for time. If you're working on a film score or something like that, where the time is the most important thing, you can do this and you have a big floating time bar that stays in front of everything. So you can always see time. And then I think you can switch this back. Yeah, so now we can see bars, beats, and divisions of the beat, and see time in this big floating uh, time bar. So we're always keeping track of our time. So if you want to see everything, you can pop open that window. You just go here, uh, open giant time display is what I did. And then you can customize it like the other stuff. There's a couple of customization options related to the time, but I'm not gonna change those right now. So that becomes really important because if 
if we want to get to a certain spot, make sure we're right on a beat. Um, this is a very good way to do it. Okay, let's move on to the inspector.